Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a browser in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a browser in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Open Microsoft Publisher 2010 by clicking Microsoft Publisher 2010 icon. When you click on the icon, it will take you to the backstage view. From the backstage view, you select Browsers under Most Popular. You just click Browsers. When you click the Browsers icon, it will take you to the Install Template where you can able to see plenty of installed templates. We can choose any of this template in order to customize the template as per our requirement. There are two types, one is an informational and second one is a price list. First I will work on price list. So from price list you can able to select any of the template. So here is a price list, here is a price list. So now I am going to select price list arrows and once you click that is a single click so here you can able to customize it your color schema your font scheme uh, you can use the existing fonts or else you can create a new one create new so where You can select Cantiqua and you can name it and save it. As well as your business information, either you can use the existing information or else you can create a new business information by clicking create new where you want to give the individual name, job position, organization name, address, phone, fax and email and your motto or logo and business information that is your name you can give a name and save it and option so page size is a 3 and 4 a 4 panel will be there there's a 3 panel or 4 panel will be there by default it's a 3 pan so here you use this include customer address and forms there will be order form response form sign up form and none you select none and create okay so where you can able to see the price list where you can able to see all our business information like the name the address and everything will be there so in short you can change the picture so first I'm going to change the picture going to move this and if you want to edit the telephone number you can edit the telephone number as a back panel heading so you can give an heading and you can explain about your service for example so fisherman twining in sure salala provides 
a wide range of solutions you can type something as you like and it provides and let me see and it offers offer various courses so like Okay, various courses. Courses like, let us say, uh, information technology. Okay, and. So electronics and communication okay so let us say book fair so you can edit this image you can change this image as per your requirement I mean I'm moving on to the second page I'm going to give the heading book fair and I'm going to type there are let's say more than thousand books in this book fair organized by Training, Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. You can change the image, you can delete it, and you can insert the clip part. Just click clip part and search for books and you can insert it and in case of price list I decided to give the, to give the book names like C++ and you can give Java let us say .NET 2014 SQL Server Office Suite Fedora Voice and NetBean And if you like any other, you can give as you like. C and introduction to Unix. Let us say Unix. Let us say operating system. And you can delete it. So now I'm going to give the price, let us say 10 OMR, let us say 15 OMR, let us say 5 
OMR let us say 8 OMR so I'm so for saving the time I'm going to do cut cop copy paste so this three I need this three and this three and and select and paste it let us say it in OMR okay so where you can edit all the price list as as you required okay so this is how you want to do your walk your customization and where you can able to insert the book name as well as the if you are having the book image you can able to insert the book image okay so if you want to change this or called as contextual tabs so where we can able to designs you can able to give the table information like this headings you can uh, rearrange the colors and likewise borders also can give the colors so you can customize it as you like and after doing this save it go to file and save us and save it as publisher file or for example PDF let us say Sam I'm I'm going to save it in desktop save it and if you want to see the print preview go to file print so where you can able to see the print preview so first page and second page so this is how you want to work with the browsers using Microsoft Publisher 2010. I think you may enjoy this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.